The next step is that I also want to support sign in on this form. And I'll do this in a very simple way. I'll add another button here below my form. And on this button, I'll say switch to, let's say sign in. The button type can be danger to make it red so that it looks like this. And now I want to manage the state here in my state in this component. I'll name the property I'll add to my state is sign up. And initially it's true. We should be in sign up mode initially. But whenever this button is clicked, I'll execute a switch off mode handler. And there I simply want to call this set state in its function form. So I receive the previous state. And in that function, I return the object which gets merged with the old state. And there I'll set is sign up equal to what previous state is sign up was not. So I'll add an exclamation mark in front of previous state is sign up so that I basically switch the values. Now to also reflect this on the UI, I'll override this hard coded caption here and I'll not switch to sign in, but I'll check if this state is sign up. If it is, then I'll output a string sign in because we want to switch to sign in if the current state is sign up. And otherwise, I'll switch to sign up like this. With that in place, I'll distribute this over a new line because I want to add the clicked property the button knows. You can check the button component to see that. Props clicked is called when on click is registered on the native button. So there on clicked, I now want to execute my off method handler, switch off method handler. With that, if I save this, now we can switch between the two methods. Of course, this doesn't do anything for this to have any effect. We need to do something different on the submit handler. We always call on off where in the end we always execute this off action. And that actually is fine. I just expect to get a third argument here. That's the method, for example, if it's sign up or sign in. And I will simply send the request to different URLs for different methods. So I can set a default URL, which could be the sign up URL here. Let me copy that entire URL and store it in a string here. But if method, if that is not, or let's not name it method, in the end it signals if it's sign up. So I'll name it is sign up here too. And if this is not sign up mode, then the URL should be different. And which URL that is can be seen in the documentation. Here in sign in with email and password, we now grab this URL, which is essentially the same. Just this part here, verify password, that's different. If we have a look at our code, there we have that URL and we have sign up new user. Now for authenticating, it's the same URL with verify password. Nonetheless, I'll copy the exact same URL here, add it here and add the key at the end. But now this URL points to verify password. With that, we got the URL adjusted to our mode. And now we use that URL here in the post request. The last step is to pass that URL on to the off action creator or not the URL, the sign up mode, I should say. So let's go back to the off container. And there you will see that of course at the bottom where we call on off, I expect to get email and password. I now also want to get the is sign up information here and I will pass it on as a third argument to the off action creator. Is sign up is an information I can pass when I call this property in my submit handler here on off because I of course store this in my state of this container. So I can access this state is sign up and pass that information on. With that, if we save all files and we go back to our application, we see that by default, if I use the same email address as before, we should get an error because that email address is already in use. We can confirm this in Redux if we check off fail. If we have a look at the action, the error we pass on there, if we switch this to the right, 
the error we pass on in the response has a data where it clearly says email exists. However, if I switch to sign in and I submit, we see success and we get back off data with the token and so on because we successfully do sign in here. So we can switch, this is all working. With that, the next step is of course to store that token so that we can also use it in the future.